Yes, that's how you all doing. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today, I'm going to bring you guys the Manchester City versus Leicester match preview. So the boys and girls, after a brilliant start to the season for the Foxes, six points out of six, two wins out of two. We now move on to probably our toughest test of the season so far as we will take on Manchester City today away from home at the Etihad Stadium. So with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to bring you guys my match preview for Leicester's third game of the new Premier League season as we will travel to the Etihad to take on Manchester City away from home. I'm going to bring you guys the Manchester City side of things, my thoughts on the game, my score prediction and last but not least my predictor lineup for today's game between Leicester and Manchester City. But just before we get into it, make sure a big thumbs up down below on today's video for you guys going to enjoy today's video. I also bring you guys another match preview for Leicester's new Premier League campaign. Of course today I'm going to bring you guys the Manchester City versus Leicester match preview. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, let me know by dropping a like. Can we go for 50 likes? On today's video, also subscribe helps see my face. Um, you're a streamer for we're on the road to 1,500 subscribers. So if you guys have not subscribed to the channel already, what are you doing? Go down below and turn that subscribe button red because we do not want to see any red on it at all. Also turn on my notifications so you never miss any future videos on the channel just like this one. Follow me on all my social medias, then we down there. Links then will be in the description down below. And finally, let me know your score predictions. Let me know your thoughts on this game in the comment section down below. But Without further ado, let's get into the Manchester City versus Leicester match preview. So as usual, you're getting straight into today's match preview. We're going to start off by talking about the opposition side of things. Of course, we take on Manchester City today at the Etihad Stadium. And this week on this match preview, we've got Ray from City Fan TV to bring you guys and me everything you need to know about Manchester City heading into their second league game of the season, their first league game at the Etihad Stadium this season. A big thanks to Ray for coming on the channel today. Go subscribe to his channel, City Fan TV. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description down below but I'm going to hand over to Ray and he's going to bring you and me everything you need to know about Manchester City heading into today's game. Hi guys, Ray here from City Fan TV, game against Leicester uh, on Sunday. So my thoughts, um, our start to the season, it's been alright, we've won uh, the two games we've played um, against a difficult Wolves side and uh, against Bournemouth in the League Cup, the Carabao Cup. But each game we've given the team's chances. Uh, Wolves, I mean, they could have got something from that game. I think we were lucky. First half we were very good, but second half, you know, I think as we tired and as Wolves changed things up, they got at us uh, quite a few times. Um, Mendy was outpaced several times in the, that second half and uh, Wolves had a few chances to score. Bournemouth had a, a few good situations as well against us on Thursday night. So, but you've got to be happy. You've got to be happy with two, uh, two games, two wins, a few goals here and there. Um, through to the next round of the cup, take that all day long. Line up against Leicester, it's very, very difficult to predict. We had a lot of injuries, we had seven men out uh, for the game against Wolves, I think six out for the game against um, Bournemouth, and now Gabriel Jesus, our striker, our only fit striker, he's not fit anymore. So it's going to be extremely difficult to work out what Pep is going to do. Is he going to go for a false nine, I think that's difficult because we haven't got the personnel to play that. To play false nine I think we use people like Gabriel Jesus, people like Raheem Sterling, um, Bernardo Silva uh, and Phil Foden and uh, two of them are out, Bernardo Silva's not fit for tomorrow and uh, Gabriel Jesus is out. so I think that's really tough so I can see him playing uh, Liam Delap up front, uh, again 17 year old kid, had a good uh, first team debut uh, against Bournemouth scoring a goal, fantastic finish. So my feeling is he's going to go something like Edison in goal, Walker at right back. He has to play Mendy at left back, which is a huge worry. We've got nobody else. Uh, centre backs, I think we go with Stones and Nathan Ake. In front of them, I'm going to go for Fernandinho and I'll pl uh, plunk for, for, plunk for uh, Rodri. Fernandinho and Rodri again. KDB is a creator in front of them and up front. I'm going to go with Raheem Sterling, with Riyad Mahrez. No, I'll take that back. I'll put Phil Ford in instead of Mahrez. And up front, I'm going to pick Liam Delap. Um, I think Mahrez didn't do enough for me last game. Normally, you'd pick Mahrez over Ford, but Ford had a cracking start the season. Two goals, two games. Um, very creative. Uh, I've got to pick Phil Ford. How do I see the game going? Leicester's always a tough game, always a tough game, uh, even when we pump you, uh, I think we did a couple of seasons ago, you still generally give us a tough game, um, we don't beat you easily, 
Uh, it's, well, it's rare in the last few seasons that we can beat you easily. Up at Manchester last season, Jamie Vardy scored a cracking goal. Uh, and I see it being the same. I, I, I can see you playing four or even five at the back. You, you play defensively and uh, trying to utilise the pace again of Vardy at 33. He's still going strong. Um, you know, uh, Golden Boot winner last season, uh, and I think he'll, he's, he's going to be your main man. Um, with support from people like Harvey Barnes, I think Tielemans, I quite like the look of him. He's got that quality, that skill, that vision. You can see he passes that pretty much most other players can't see. So I, I think um, you'll, you will be dangerous on the break. You, you're going to be dangerous on the break. Uh, but, so I, I see his uh, defence versus attack and you relying on uh, set pieces and breaks uh, against City. And as a score prediction, got a back City. Uh, I can't see his keeping clean sheet. Um, defence is still all over the place so I'm going to go 3-1 City just hope it's a good game no dodgy decisions with VAR to uh, either help one team or the other I just hope it's a good clean game and a fair result at the end so a big thanks to Ray for coming on the channel today like I said earlier on go and subscribe to the channel City Fan TV I'll leave a link in the description down below but without further ado let's get into the lesser side of things and start off my thoughts on this game <laughs> So then, Manchester City away as our third league game of the new season. It always had to come. It's probably one of the hardest games of the season in the Premier League. However, Leicester have started the Premier League season off very, very well to save the Leafs. We currently sit second place as I'm recording this, but a win today will send Leicester top of the Premier League table. Of course, we've beaten West Brom on the opening day 3-0. Most recently in the Premier League, we got a 4-2 win over Burnley as well. So Leicester are coming into, the, into today's game on very, very good form. However, it is Manchester City away at the Etihad, so, you know, it's not going to be an easy game at all. This game is only Manchester City's second game of the season. However, they start off the Premier League season very well with a great win away from home at Wolves at the Monday US City won 3-1 on their first league game of the new season. So both sides come into today's game on very, very good form, but it's going to be a very, very tough game for Leicester today. It should be a very, very open game. The games between Leicester and Man City, especially away from home for the Foxes, are always very, very high scoring and very, very open game. So it should be a high scoring one, but two sides have started the season off quite well. So it's going to be a quite a cagey affair, but it, there's definitely going to be goals in this game. There always is at the Etienne, and it should be a very, very good game to watch as a neutral. In the last few seasons, the games have always been very, very close, especially in the first half, but Man City have always came away with, with the winners. There's been some great games between Man City and Leicester, especially that season where Company scored that absolute wonder goal to basically give Manchester City the title. Last season, Leicester performed quite well in the first half as we as we made it one, then in fact, through Jamie Vardy and City came from behind to make it 3-1, and that has happened on, on a number of different occasions. So I'm expecting Leicester to potentially go in front, but City always seem to, to, to get it back against Leicester. So it's going to be a tough game for Leicester. However, I've got a slight feeling that Leicester could potentially nick something today. Both sides have a large number of first team players out injured. City have Aguero and Jesus both injured. So it's going to be interesting to see who plays up front for City. And of course, most recently for Leicester, Wilfred Diddy has picked up a big, big injury, ruling them out for about 12 weeks, which is a big, big loss for Leicester. So both sides are coming into this game on a large number of injuries, especially Manchester City with a lot of their first team players missing out. So it's going to be two fairly changed sides and it's not going to be full strength. So I'm fairly confident that Leicester could potentially nick something today away from home. However, it's going to be a very, very tough game for Leicester. Manchester City away is probably one of the hardest games to play in the Premier League. So it's going to be tough. And if Leicester want to even get a point, Leicester are going to have to have a very, very good performance. Man City on the pet goal here, they're going to want to win the league after last season's pretty poor performance from them compared to the last couple. So it's going to be a big, big task for Leicester. And if we can come away with anything, that would be a brilliant result. So then, with that being said, moving on to my score prediction for today's game then. I'm going to be going with a draw, which will, which will be a great result for Leicester. I'm going to go with a Man City 1, Leicester City 1. I think it will be quite an even game in the end. There will be quite a lot of chances for either side. But hopefully, fingers crossed, and if you do, this will be a cracking result as well to start the season to keep Leicester unbeaten. I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw, which, like I said, would be a brilliant result away from home at the Etihad. I'm going to go... 
with Kevin De Bruyne to score for Manchester City and for Leicester, I'm going to go with Jamie Vardy to score. He always seems to score away from home at the Etihad Stadium. So yeah, I'm going to go with a 1-1 as my score predictions. Make sure you let me know your thoughts, your score predictions as well in the comment section down below. So that's it for my thoughts and my score prediction then for today's game. So let's move straight on to my predictor lineup. So this is the side I think Brandon Rodgers will go over today to start against Manchester City away from home at the Etihad. So starting off in goal, I'm going to be going with Kasper Schmeichel. He's definitely one of the first names on the team sheet in my opinion. Of course he conceded two to Burnley but she can't really do too much about them. But overall it's been a good start to the season for Casper. So hopefully Casper can have a good game against City. He's going to have to make a lot of saves like I said. It's going to be a high chance game but I think both keepers will perform quite well to cancel it out to make it 1-1. So yeah Casper is going to have to need a good game if Leicester are going to go on and come away with anything. So yeah hopefully Casper can have a good performance but which I'm pretty hopeful that that he can. So moving into the back four then. Just to quickly mention I'm going to be going with the 4-1-4-1 formation which is the pretty bog standard the formation which Leicester have gone with for the majority of the season. To start off at right back, I'm going to be going with Timothy Castagna, arguably, arguably Leicester's best player this season. What a signing it's been from Timothy Castagna. It's going to be a big test for him coming up against the likes of Raheem Sterling, Kevin De Bruyne. So it's going to be interesting to see how he gets along defensively. But I'm fully confident that Castagna can have a good performance, especially going forward as well. The Belgium trio is in action at the King Pal Stadium. So hopefully Timothy can have a good game against City today. So on to the two cents, half cents. To start off with the right one, I'm going to be going with Kagler. So you enjoy another great performance from Kagler last time out against Burnley in the leagues. So yeah, hopefully Kagler can have a good performance. Like I said, it's going to be a big, big test for, for the defence today. It's always a big test going away to City away. He's going to be, have to be careful the likes of Kevin De Bruyne. However, it's going to be interesting to see what striker can the two centre-backs actually do come up against. So hopefully Kagler soon she have, have a good game against City. And alongside Kagler soon I'm going to be going with Johnny Evans. Of course, he's been suspended for the first three games of the season but that is now over and I think Johnny Evans is going to come straight back into the side and especially with Wilfred and Diddy now being injured I think Johnny Evans has to come in that experience is going to be key in this game as well so yeah hopefully Johnny Evans can come in it's, it's, it's a tough test to come into your first game of the season away at Manchester City but hopefully Johnny can do that and I think I think he will he's got enough experience so fingers crossed Johnny Evans can have a good performance so on to left back then I'm going to be going with James Justin this is a position which I'm most scared about to be honest it wasn't the greatest of performances from JJ against Burnley although he did score a goal defensive wise he wasn't really the best and it's going to be a big big test for James Justin today at the FTR of course he's going to have players like Raheem Sterling potentially Rio Mores Bernardo Silva running at him so it's going to be a huge huge challenge for James Justin but hopefully the youngster can have a good game and hopefully have a good defensive game and get forward as well which I'm fully confident that James Justin can do so yeah the back four is going to be Timothy Castagna Carlos Sinchu Johnny Evans and James Justin so then on to midfield starting off in that defensive role I'm going to be going with the Paulis Mendy of course Wilfred Diddy is going to be out for a large spell so this is really the Paulis Mendy's chance of course we have Hamza Charles as well who can also come in but I think Mendy is going to get the shout and this is a huge chance for Papi Mendy to really prove himself in that Leicester signing. He has to start off with a very, very tough game against City. However, in the first two games of the season, he's performed very, very well. So, I'm confident that Papi Mandy can have a good game, but it's going to be very, very important in this game trying to stop City get forward and really turning the play around and getting Leicester on the counter-attack, which is going to be the main asset for Leicester in today's game. So, yeah, hopefully Papi Mandy can have a good game today away from home. So, just ahead of the Paulis, many then moving into the two centre midfielders. It is the Belgium double, starting off with Yuri Tillemans. What a performance it was from Yuri Tillemans on the weekend against Burnley. That pass to Timothy Castagne was absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, hope Yuri Tillemans can have a good game. It's going to be important in this game, especially if Leicester want to turn the player around quickly. The likes of Yuri Tillemans and the guy alongside Yuri Tillemans. Again, it's, they're both going to be very, very keen. Turn that player around and getting Leicester on the front front, playing those balls forward to the likes of Jamie Vardy up front. So, yeah, hope Yuri can have a good game. And he, in my opinion, is going to be alongside the other Belgium international, Dennis Pratt. The Belgium duo in midfield is their people. Dennis Pratt, a great performance again against Burnley. That, that wonderful goal to make it 4 2 as well was absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, hopefully, Dennis Pratt can have a good game. I think James Madison won't get the start. He could potentially come off the bench, but who's going to drop Dennis Pratt and Yuri Tillemans, especially after that performance against Burnley? So, yeah, my two centre mids are going to be Yuri Tillemans and Dennis Pratt. So, moving into the two wingers, and to start off with the left winger, 
And then we'd go in with Harvey Barnes. It was another brilliant performance from Harvey against Burnley. Finally got his goal as well, his first goal of the season. So that should provide Harvey Barnes with a lot of confidence. And City's defence isn't the greatest. Hopefully, like the so Harvey Barnes, Jamie Vardy can really get can, can get at that City defence. And that goal for Harvey Barnes is going to give him a lot of confidence going into the, going into today's game here. Hopefully, Harvey Barnes can have a, a good performance, take some man on and cause City some problems, which I think he can do if he plays with, with good confidence, taking man on. And maybe he can get his name on the score sheet once again. So yeah, hopefully Harvey Barnes can have a good game. It's also going to be very, very important on the counter with, with his pace. Him and Jamie Vardy are going to be very, very vital in this game. So yeah, hopefully Harvey can have a good game. He also needs to track back as well, especially with James Justin on his side. So yeah, he needs to track back, get forward. It's going to be a big game for Harvey Barnes today. On the right-hand side of midfield, then I'm going to be going with a Yosi Perez. Of course, this isn't a Yosi Perez. It's natural position, but who realistically is going to play there? Under, of course, is, is an option. We have got him now, but he's not going to be able to play for this game. But it should be back next week. So, yeah, this is probably going to be Yosi Perez's last game playing out wide for the Foxes, which is a good thing. Of course, it, it's not his natural position. He can do a good job there, but he plays much better behind that striker and, and maybe even the striker as well. But, yeah, hopefully Yosi Perez can have a good game. He needs to come and field link with the players like Dennis Brattini, which he did quite well against Bernie. He's also going to have to track back quite a lot as well to help out Timothy Castagna. So the two wingers are going to have to have important roles in, in the game, especially to, to help Leicester defend a very, very strong Manchester City attack. But yeah, hopefully Yosey can have a good game today. So then moving up front into the final position of the team, it's probably the easiest position to pick the player in that position. Of course, it's going to be Jamie Vardy. Sadly, he didn't score against Burnley, but he, he looked very good against Burnley. He has to start, in my opinion. This pace is going to be the key thing for Vardy, especially on the counter stack. In the past couple of years, especially last year, he caused City a lot of problems breaking in behind. So yeah, hopefully Vardy can have a good game, especially on the counter stack. And I'm I quite fancy Vardy to get his name on the team sheet, on the score sheet. Sorry, he's also going to be on the team sheet as well, 100%. So yeah, Jamie, Jamie Vardy to start up front. So the boys and girls, that is it for my predicted lineup. So yeah, just to run through it once again, Casper Schmeichel in goal, the right back being Timothy Castagna, the two centre backs, Soyun Chu, and of course Johnny Evans, the left back being James Justin, holding midfielder, Nepalis Mendy, your team to start alongside Dennis Bright, the two wingers being Barnes and Ayuzi Perez, and finally up front, I'm going to be going with Jamie Vardy. So the boys and girls, that is it for today's video. In today's video, I brand you guys my Manchester City versus Leicester match preview. A huge game today at the Etihad, but hopefully Leicester can grab something. It's going to be a tough one, but I'm quite confident that Leicester could potentially get a point in today's game. But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys have enjoyed, let me know by dropping a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But yeah, guys, I'm a sportsman, and I'll see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Peace, guys.